up guys, welcome back to another content advent calendar video. Today we're going to dive into Photoshop and I'm going to show you a nice, quick and easy way to make eyes really stand out, to make them pop, to make them really kind of clarity, saturation-y. They look good, is what I'm trying to say. Let's dive into Photoshop. I've got this photo open here. I've just done a very, very slight edit on it, so I've actually just darkened the edges around our subject here, but I'm gonna show you how we can make her eyes really, really pop. Now, of course, I've actually already edited this photo in the past, and I've added just a bit of exposure just to her eyes to make them a little bit brighter so they're the brightest part of the image. That's absolutely a great place to start, and that's a great way to get eyes to pop initially. But we're gonna do something different to just to make them extra poppy, extra kind of colory, and you can actually add a lot of color here as well, depending on the kind of look you wanna to go to. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and add a new layer. We're gonna take the paintbrush, we're gonna take white as our color, and we're gonna zoom in. I'm gonna hold Alt, scroll in with my mouse wheel, and with a nice soft brush, I'm actually got flow at 100, I'm gonna go ahead and just paint white onto the colored part of her eyes here just like that. Let's zoom back out and let's change the blending mode to overlay. Now you can see what's going on here. That has made a huge difference to our eyes. Obviously it's too much. So we just bring the opacity down probably to something like 30%. So let's turn that off and back on. Look at how much of a difference that makes. Look at how much that makes her eyes pop. Now that might still be too much for you. You can bring the opacity down to whatever kind of floats your boat. 20% looks pretty good still. That's a great place to start, and that's gonna make her eyes pop. Uh, Matilda happens to have, uh, I would say very blue eyes, but I've taken photos and they've definitely been green. I've taken photos and they've definitely been brown. And yet I've taken photos like this one where they definitely seem to be blue. So who knows, but they're very colorful is what they are. So we go ahead and do another layer here. We'll take the paintbrush, and what we can do here is actually zoom into her eyes. Let's turn off that previous layer, so we just press the eye icon there. Let's hold Alt and sample a color from her eyes. You can see here it's kind of in this purple range. So let's just move it towards blue a little bit. Let's saturate that color. So let's go for something like that. And again, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're just gonna paint onto the colored part of her eye here. So exactly like that. Do it on the other eye as well. It's exactly the same as we did a second ago. Let's put that to overlay and then reduce the opacity to something like 35%. It's pretty cool. Let's turn on that previous layer as well. So we've got the white and then the color. Look at that, that looks that looks amazing. I mean, I appreciate that it's not particularly realistic, but it's a really nice way and interesting way of making eyes pop. Let's bring that color down to about 20%. Look at that, I really, really like that. So we look at, before we had these two on, which still looks really nice and I have already brightened the eyes and then after. Now we can actually add any color we want. So let's get rid of that blue. Let's add in a, a like a green kind of color. So let's bring this down to green. Let's make it something like this. Make it quite saturated. Let's zoom in. A new layer. Let's go ahead and paint on this green here. Do it here as well. Important to do it with a soft brush. Otherwise it can look a bit, a bit too crazy. Let's zoom back out. Let's go ahead and apply this as overlay, reduce that opacity down. And we've got a kind of green tint to the eyes now. So you can do this with all kinds of different colors. It's a great way of changing eye color as well. Um, you could also, if you want to change eye color specifically, let's get rid of that. Let's make a new hue saturation layer. Let's press Control I to invert the layer mask so it's applied to nothing. Let's go in here. Let's just paint with white on the colored part of the eye. That means we now have this hue saturation layer only applying to this color part. We can now boost the saturation of the eyes if we want to. We can also change the color very easily as well. So let's just move that hue slider there. We can change it to pretty much any color we want and we can add a bit of saturation and lightness as well if we want to. We've got a lot of control over what the eyes look like there. So we can really go through and change the appearance of the eyes. Super easy, super quick. That's a bunch of different ways we can do it, actually. I didn't even intend to do that last bit, but it's an interesting thing to play around with. And I love kind of experimenting with this kind of stuff because while sometimes it can feel a bit over the top, sometimes it really does add a lot to the photo. So there you go. Nice, quick and easy thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. New videos every day through to Christmas Eve. I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, thanks for watching.